hogs. Big ones. Right now. Big hogs from this individual. How to increase your duck size. So growing your duck. A big, large duck. A full guide. 20 minutes. 20 minutes on the subject. An incredible feat. A full guide to getting a huge duck. I gotta know. Uh, I've never watched Hamza Ahmed. Ari sent a couple videos, and I uh, grabbed not the one she sent, but this one. Uh, but this is from Ari's pick. All right. Um, let's see how fast he talks, and then we'll see if I'm going to speed him up. 20 minutes is a long time for this. I know this is weird, but I'm actually going to teach you how to grow a bigger peepee. -pee. All right. <laughs> this is actually total legit. A bigger pee pee. Here's the thing. You can't. I hated that. I hated that so much. I, you know, as a duck haver, I just don't. I don't know. Not a pee pee for me personally. Actually, get like a bigger. I need more manhood speed. phallus pee pee. I don't. I'll a, call it pee pee. You can't actually get like a bigger pee pee than what you were genetically supposed to have, but you can make sure. That you are actually at your genetic like, limitation. Because what's happening right now? Like, <laughs> you gotta like, overclock your dong. Say, <laughs> <laughs> look, it, it, look. The factory, the the factory settings are not actually what the full potential of your dong is. Okay, you just gotta you just gotta go into your settings a little bit. You gotta overcock that shit. That's right. Quantifiable metric like in, in Darwin. Sizes, don't listen. Okay? Let's don't say listen. If everything went yeah, right in your life. It. I I I kind of. Speaking of manhood, I mean, I took his manhood, so maybe he shouldn't listen to this. Darwin, should you leave for this? Buddy, should you go? Okay, well, you can hear it. Like your health and your fitness and, and all those things, that your maximum PP erection size would be exactly six inches. Your maximum PP erection size. Fuck yeah. But you might right now be at 5.25. Just because of more lifestyle and mental factors that are essentially <laughs> limiting what? your erection. So we can't just get a bigger PB, but we can make sure that the erection that you do get is, is as, like, as hard and as big as it possibly could be. Does that make sense? We need to... Uh... So is this a bit? Is this guy doing a bit where I just make really... So I, wa I didn't watch it. I looked at some of the videos... Uh... I was like, why so haven't I seen this guy before? You guys haven't put two hours long. One, thir one hour, 38. Just fucking sitting here. Three hours. I clicked to see, to, to see oh. if it was like, it looks like it's recorded over like two days. But this is like one sitting. He literally for th several hours. Insane. Insane. Doesn't seem like a bit. Seems pretty fucking earnest. Gotta get the P and S attachment. The S stands for overclock, unclocked. Oh. Because there isn't some product I'm going to try and sell you or anything like this. And I know this video seems kind of goofy, but I actually think this is very important. Now, this is something that I've not needed to think about for a long time. But when I was a teenager... <laughs> I... It's not personally a problem that I have, but if anyone else is looking to get a bigger PP than they already have... Well, then, I mean, yeah, I have some tips. In order to have a big dick, you gotta have a big dick. Thoughts? Big dick energy and big dick flavor. See, I'm of the opinion that you really only need like two of the three. So you can have like big dick flavor and big dick thoughts, but not necessarily big dick energy. Right? However, females prefer big dick energy to big dick thoughts. Okay? That's more of an alpha trait. I actually did have a massive insecurity with the size of my PP. Now, I. I grew late i was still i think i was four foot eleven or five foot one or five foot four whatever it was i was very short up until i hit like 17 years old and uh -huh. all of that time from like you know, 13 to 17 when other kids around me started to like have sex and, and you know like be around the opposite like the, the girls in our class i was always feeling so insecure <clears throat> because my pp didn't grow since till i was like since i was a kid so Not his height. Oh. Oh. 
My dick is actually so <laughs> moist it's dripping. Fuck. <laughs> you insecure about your dick size? No. <laughs> All right. All right. Can I tell you a secret about your dick? Nobody gives a shit unless it's too b it's very rare you're going to have a too small of a dick, okay? That's like real small. If you have a micro dick, all apologies if you wanted a big girthy one, but you don't have one, figure out the head game or something. I mean, it's just not for you. Uh, but like, nobody gives a shit. Like, it, I, I've never one time met someone who's like, I need more dick than you have. And, and, and it's not like we have the biggest dick in the world. It's just we got a we got a dick, okay. I've to, I've said this before. We it, you, you, you make sure you have a Honda, chat. You got a Honda. It doesn't have to be remarkable. It's about the quality of the stickman, and that's true. That's fucking true, because uh, I mean a, a, a gigantic dong doesn't necessarily feel good, and you know it's uh, sometimes they're just mashing it. Hey, ladies, ever been just mashed? Anyone ever just been mashed and not in a good way? You know? Happens. So happens. I mean, whatever whatever you got going on, Impala, whatever. Uh, yeah, it's a common technique to be mashed. People don't like that. Uh, so that's really what it's about. It's about not mashing. Let's have some Let's have some good... Let's fuck a little, you know? So imagine being 17 years old and you still got <laughs> the same PP size as like when you were 10. So I was very insecure about that. And of course, I'm still watching Why porn. So I was watching like, you know, his boy these big mother, like these bigger log motherfuckers on, on porn and stuff. And it, I know this sounds silly, but it genuinely fucked up my mental health. Bro, this is, this is such boy behavior. Grow up. You, you're a man now. Grow up. It genuinely hurts me for many years. Very, like significantly messed up my mental health. No, you are lagging behind. I know that you're talking about this in the past tense. Like totally doesn't mess me up. The fact that you're framing it this way is it means that you're you have boy brain. This is so stupid, dude. Because every day when you're seeing, especially this sensitive, like you know this this sensitive part of our bodies and everything. Every day when you're seeing other guys on Pornhub and everything. You feel awful. You feel inadequate. Why? You feel so insecure. And I used to, I That's remember... nothing. I've never once felt that. Are you serious? I've never one time looked at a humongous dick on in a porn and thought, damn, I wish I had a humongous dick. Am I alone? I must be fucking weird, dude. I feel like I might be a weirder guy. Maybe I'm the one that is just maybe I'm I'm the year three thousand dude. I don't have dick envy. My dick has always been a reliable source of pleasure for me. We have a good partnership. I there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not I'm happy with my I'm I wouldn't trade them in. I'm we're ride or die, man. Me and my dick, we're brothers. That's forever. Uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Not fun, huh? Oh, well, Sid. Have you considered therapy? Also, why are you comparing porn to the real world? Yeah, it's just weird. We were asking one of my friends who had a girlfriend. And, you know, we were quite young. Maybe we were like 15 or something. And he hadn't had sex or, or anything I like that. But I asked him, like, if she wanted to, would you? Fen Goblin, thanks for the prime. And he just kind of like, he saw it as a good thing. He's like, yeah. And in my mind... I saw, like, a girl wanting to be sexual with you as a bad thing automatically because it meant that, like, I, I would have to show her that I was, like, in, that, you know, I, I had a small dick. Yeah, man. So this is, like, internalized shame, bro. This is your own thing. And that's really messed up when you think about it because that really made me, like, reserved in school and feeling awkward around girls. That's I was very lucky that at age 17, I finally, like, I hit puberty very late. I finally hit puberty. I went from, like, five, whatever height I was, five, two, five, three, five, four, and I shot up, like, seven, eight inches in, in the space of, like, six months. And then everything else actually finally grew, and, and everything is fine now. <laughs> but for a very long time, I, I was very insecure. But around this time, I started to really think deeply about being able to maximize the size of your pee-pee. <laughs> 
Why? Uh, dude. There are there are men haunted by... Look, Oppenheimer haunted by the problem of how to split the atom, right? How to... How to, how to who am I? I'm going to become fucking the man who destroys the world. This guy... You know, there's necromancers that are trying to, in, in stories, trying to perfect their phylactery and save their soul. This guy uh, couldn't do any of that. He's just big dicks. This is the this is the Spider-Man villain. He's like, but with your science, you could, you could save the world. He's like, I don't want to save the world. I want to make people dinosaurs. <laughs> Fair enough. Same. All right, this guy. This guy just wants to make a, he wants to overclock, overcock his pee-pee. That's it. And so there's a few things you can do. Okay. We're which is very you. interesting, because I'm not going to tell you about any device or any weird stretching mechanism or anything like this. I've never bought a product for this. I've never done any weird workout routine. My mindset was, I just want to make sure that the erection I do have is as big as it could be. <laughs> but first, I started to improve my sleep. Why, bro? Sleeping? I started to make sure Come on. I was trying to, like, you know, like, dedicate... Sleep more, eight, your, nine, your dick will get bigger. That's true. ...to sleep. Because the way I saw it, it just made sense to me, right? I don't know the real research of this, but it made sense. Oh, really? If I'm supposed to he sleep doesn't know the nine real hours research. a day or eight hours a day, and I'm only sleeping six, mm -hmm. chances are my erection is probably going to get weakened, isn't it? I'd probably lose no. maybe a bit of the blood that would go in there, which would cause a bit like more of the girth or maybe the length, right? If no. No. What? Buddy. What? If you're going to be sleep deprived, most likely you're going to get a weaker erection. So in a weird way, sleeping more will make your pee pee bigger because your erection will probably be more full. Fucking so I started no. sleeping all day. I'm like, okay, sweet. I'm never getting out of bed. But in, in, in a serious note, consistently this is going so to bed, fucking consistently dumb. Waking up, making sure that I Guys, was never like sleep deprived, and I started no. to like just have this kind of unwritten rule. That I just don't miss my bedtime. You know, there's a lot of people I know who have got such weird bedtimes. Like, you know, they don't even have a bedtime. They just go to sleep. They're, they're on their computers, staring at all the blue lights and late and saying to themselves, like, oh, I can't. Like, this is what you're like, your Jeffrey video gamer friends. They're literally looking Jeffrey? at the blue light. Hyper stimulated. Chat. Jeffrey video gamer friends? What's that mean? I'm not, I'm not online anymore. I'm not an online guy. I never really have been, I guess. Yeah, Jeffrey. I don't understand that. Someone decode it video games it's 10 p.m 11 p.m 12 and they're like oh well you know I, i'm not even sleepy so i'm not gonna go to sleep so i'm just gonna keep playing games that's not how it works it's not that you're not sleepy and that you're just gonna keep playing games it's that you're playing video games staring at the screen and that's why you're not sleepy because your brain's hyperactivated when you're playing games just imagine you know some mri scan of your brain it's hyper lit up when you're playing video games when you're watching tv shows and you're processing all of this data of course it is so I never, not even for work, miss my like bedtime. How is this you know, about dicks? Or something, but I never purposely look at the time. How is that about dick? Thinking to myself, yeah, I'm just going to stay up and just do more work. Or I'm just going to stay up and just watch some YouTube videos. I just stopped doing that. Just, yeah, dude, don't watch YouTube videos. Your dick will get bigger. True. I started having too much respect for myself to do that. Now, you don't need to actually go to bed. Dick sleep, you need a cock nap. You, like <laughs> you just need to have a consistent time that's good for you and then stop missing it. We're supposed to go to bed at roughly the same time every single night. And if you're not, if you've got like a huge one hour difference, two hours, three hours, sometimes you go to sleep at 10, sometimes you go to sleep at two. It's like your, <sighs> your peepee's softer. And, and My peepee is soft. Smaller. Cause Fuck. Of that. That's true. Damn. Is it a no fap thing? Yeah, I bet he won't fap too. There'll probably be a little anti-fap situation happening. You gotta be, dude, if you're, if you don't, if you always have come brain you can never be low <laughs> now every guy is like oh yeah man i'm not i'm not missing the, juice. <laughs> the next thing i did was my diet now i tried to improve my diet for a very long time this this took me years by the way it turns out that the normal diet that everyone's eating is actually terrible for our health mental health and also just our erection strength because when you think erection about, you know, strength erection you're gonna have after you've been eating mcdonald's and sugar and like those cheap donuts that you get from the supermarket that your mum buys for you. It's like, you're probably not going to get like the rock hard style erection, are you? <laughs> He's trying to whisper it in his fucking bedroom. You're not going to get a rock hard. A rock hard. Girl. You're going to be rock hard. So I'm going to tell you right now, if there's one thing that you eat that will give you the best erections. And this is... Ooh. Chat. 
What's what's the cockiest food? What's the food with the most cock energy? Just eat Viagra. That'll do it. Geoduck. It's corn. Because it's got the juice. Cock. It's chicken because it's cock. The sperm whale. Sausage. Bull testicles. Hot dog. Sausage. Jeffrey is the opposite of a Chad. Huh. Just p- penis. Literal penis. Makes sense. This is something that I still do to this day that I never miss. Mm-hmm. Eggs. Just eat as many... I eat a lot of eggs. Eggs as like realistically possible. Have- as many eggs as possible? Just fucking cramming boiled eggs into my mouth hoping someone will fuck my big girthy dick. Please fuck me. I eat eggs. Don't you know? Stacy, I eat eggs. At least four eggs per day, every day for the rest of your life. There's research that shows that eating eggs will, will kill, kill you. There's research that shows that eating eggs is really healthy for you. Forget the research that's been done by fat researchers who don't even know what they're talking about and they can't even, they can't even bench press like 60 kg and they can't even run one mile. So why the fuck are we trusting? Like, <laughs> Can you fucking run a mile? Can't be a scientist unless you run a mile. They they do this research on athletes and stuff and other people, uh, not themselves. But don't worry about the research. Don't worry about it. Unhealthy people who are just scientists. Fuck them. Four That's eggs fuck- a day is extremely bad for you. Is that extremely bad for you? I feel like I feel like one or two eggs is the most I've ever eaten in a sitting. Maybe one of those big omelets or something, but I don't think I've ever finished one of those. But when I make eggs, it's one or My two. My corn of them. is so moist that it's actually dripping. Suck a peen, get a bigger peen. It's just science. You gotta siphon off the excess big dick energy and flavor to increase the size of your own dick. That's right. Four yolks is a ton of cholesterol. I mean, how much is that? I don't know. I don't know egg facts. They're pretty chill. Are they like ninety calories? Egg nutrition. Let's see. Let's see, egg facts, eggs. The amount of cholesterol in an egg is 62% of your daily value for a boiled egg. That's right, that's pretty high in cholesterol. Talk about the, the, you know, let's talk through the people who are actually healthy. It does seem that the kind of... Egg cholesterol doesn't tend to measure your cholesterol the same as most cholesterol. After a four-day camping trip, I've had four-egg omelet. Not a regular thing, but sometimes it's a four-egg problem, you know. 62 for one egg, that's right. Now, I guess we could look at wh- what kind of cholesterol is in an egg. Are they good or bad for your cholesterol? Well, don't eat fucking four every day. Are chicken eggs good or bad for you? Chicken eggs are for... This is terrible. Why would you put that right down the fucking center like that? I'm going to use the whole page, twats. Uh, some studies found a link between... But most healthy people can eat up to seven eggs a week without increasing... Well, yeah, that's one a day. But if you have diabetes, healthy experts... Go. Uh, okay, I don't think... I don't know about this one. I don't know about this particular one. Let's go down here. Eggs and cholesterol from WebMD. Chicken eggs are nutritious and affordable. Uh, cholesterol is naturally occurring waxy element in your blood. You need it to build healthy cells. That's true. Uh, your liver and intestines make about 80% of the cholesterol in the body. The other 20% comes from the food you eat. Your diet. Nutrition in eggs. Eggs supply your body with beneficial things. Uh... How many eggs should you eat? Overall, most people can have one full egg a day without causing their risk of heart attack, stroke, or other issues to go up. But if you're at a full at-risk group, you should eat no more than three full eggs per week. If you want egg, to eat more eggs than the suggested amount, you can take the yolk out of your eggs or use egg substitute go. products like egg beaters, which are just egg whites. Egg whites and other yolk-free products don't have any cholesterol but still have protein. I do love an egg, dude. Dude, some people eat so many fucking eggs. Um... <clears throat> Thank you so much. His dick is massive due to his high cholesterol. It's just stuffed with egg yolks. 
His erections are about blood circulation, so eating too many eggs would be bad for you. You know what? No, I'm not engaged with this. No, 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 no. So if you eat too many eggs, actually your dick will get really tiny and puny. Diet that will give you the greatest erection and also the mental strength and also physical strength and muscle and literally everything you want. It seems more of like this caveman style, natural, primal diet of literally just like eggs, meat, vegetables, fruits, nuts. That's it. When you start to buy stuff and you go to restaurants and you go to supermarkets and suddenly... That's all the foods that there are, for the record. That's all of them. A pizza and you're coping and saying, oh, well, pizza's not really health- unhealthy. You know, pasta's not really unhealthy. Suddenly you're eating the food that's recently been made over the last few hundred years. Probably not a good thing. Uh, that's stupid. Why is he so stupid? We need to just, we need to figure out how to upload some brain cells to motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, is there a way for that, for us to put some brain cells in the water so that dudes can get a hold of some? Some liquid IQ. We could just we could we could put it in the water system, just like fluoride. We can get some people some fucking in like this is paleo diet. I mean this is this is stupid. It solves so many problems. We can just siphon some some juice. You should probably eat the now your sperm wants to fertilize eggs. So if you eat a lot of eggs, your sperm will make your dick big and happy. Oh wow, that's how it works. That's true. The kind of food that your great 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 grandfather was eating. Gruel. Gruel and uh, fucking porridge. Both gruel and porridge. Gruel porridge too. All three of them. Meat. Some vegetables. Eggs. That's it. That's really it. If you're only going to add one thing into your diet right now to make things easy, have four eggs every single day for the rest of your life. Simple as that. Now, I'm eating five now. I'm just slowly, progressively overloading. I'm going to get to eight per day. That's too many fucking eggs. Four eggs. Get, like, the little pan that your, your mum makes it on. Get some butter, some real butter, okay? Make sure in the UK, I'm not sure if it's the same with all countries, but in the UK, there's a big, big, like, propaganda machine that, like, butter is unhealthy and that instead you should get some, like, flora, fucking plant oil type of weird shit, right? It needs to be the old-school-style butter, which comes in, like, almost like a brick form and it's usually wrapped in tinfoil and it's literally, like, law pack or something and it's real butter. It needs to say butter on it. If you look through the butter aisle and it doesn't say butter and it just got, like, <laughs> you know, it looks like butter on the picture that they've got, it's These, cold. It's, yeah, literally it's, not. Like, it's just sunflower oil and weird chemicals that you didn't really know you were you need real pure butter you get that get like a big nice chunk of it put it into the pan sizzling up move the pan around and literally cooking eggs is easy by the way like i don't like cooking i'm not even good at it but it's so easy <laughs> dude this is just a peer into the guy these are the guys that like people who watch this or the people that I was talking about with the male Go. loneliness thing. Like, they're big watching this guy stuff. And he's like, dude, I'm eating four or five eggs a day. My dick's still tiny and no one will touch me. What the fuck? My man is just on the Gaston diet. I don't know Gaston things. Ooh. When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. That's too many. Grab each individual egg, just crack it. I don't Doesn't know much more that I can need play. to be clean or anything like that. Crack it. My dick is actually it. so moist; it's dripping. <laughs> you need some Dick Force Plus. It's made from the pure essence of Eggy Agnes from the eggs Sam and I. I am more like Sam. I can. <laughs> God damn. The pan. Boom. Chat, you have momentum. Four eggs like that. Get a wooden spatula, not a plastic one. Plastic lowers your testosterone. Chat, you have momentum. Plastic literally like is estrogenic and everything, especially when it's eaten up. Estrogenic. Unless you just move it around, like that's it. Move it around till there's no like gooey, sn you know, snotty bits, and then it's done. It genuinely takes less than five minutes to cook, and it's one of the greatest meals you can have for your testosterone and for your erection strength. I am for your erection strength. I'm guaranteeing that. Four eggs every day with a bit of butter. That's it. Don't listen to any like, like low test skinny neck soft looking guy who says like oh well actually like you know you should just eat just this other thing or this other thing is if the person you're currently looking at looks like they've got low testosterone and they look like they're weak and they look like they don't even go to the gym and, and you know this doctor looks my like my dick fat. is like, actually so moist it's dripping thrusting my huge egg fueled dick <laughs> like, should you trust him maybe not now i'm not saying that i'm better than a doctor doctors are a lot smarter than me but doctors are reading books to see the research of what's happened it, through research that's huge. been funded by different companies so the whole in Oh, my one, give one to Cat Plinth. Chat, you have momentum again. Industry is just messed up of like, you know, medicine and healthcare and stuff because literally you do realize that companies pay 
companies pay for that research, right? You do realize this. This is why I don't like to trust like doctors and nutritional research and all this bullshit. When, when yeah, I wouldn't want to trust a fucking medical professional about my body. They've only had hundreds of years prior to my existence to figure this out. And some little dweeb comments. Oh, can you cite the source, please? I'm just thinking like, bro, you're, you, you must be brain dead. Because if you think that some, uh -huh. looking at some kind of research where you can read the abstract of the study by these random researchers that you haven't like verified yourself, and they say, oh, wow, you know, this this supplement is, is you know... It, okay, but can we look at the nutrition facts of eggs and decide that that's a lot of cholesterol? Hmm? Well, health, everyone should be taking this supplement. And then you see that that study was was sponsored by the people who made that supplement. Or you see the studies, the, the, the ones in 1900s, that literally went viral across the entire world and changed the world's diets to tell people that eating fat, like high fat, high cholesterol diets was bad for you. And it was funded by yeah, companies like Nestle who produce high sugar. Oh, I mean, yeah, sugar's, sugar's also not good for you. I'm like, look, man, I mean, I think we can agree that things in moderation is good for you. Uh, I think he would, he would say that I don't ab abide by that. And I agree. Uh, but yeah, if you want to be a skinny little man, yeah, some moderation. Um, I I don't think eating just eggs is the way. I think your body needs more than what's in eggs to survive. <laughs> so you can eat an egg, though. You can eat an egg or two every once in a while. You know, not going to kill you. Four eggs every day or more uh, might actually fucking kill you, though. The whole industry is messed up, and so I don't think we should be trusting people who are bribed. I've taken no bribes for this. There's no link in the description for you to buy this product that you know, my my eggs or any bullshit like that. I have to sell one product. It's not nothing to do with this. It's just like making friends online with self improvement and stuff. It's nothing to do with this. It is it is exactly this though. Make friends online. Join my private online school. It's nothing to do with this. I don't know. I personally, you can do whatever you want. You can listen to your fat doctor if you, if you want to be like him. I like to just do what actually works. And instead of listening to the doctor who reads a piece of research and that research might be wrong, I go and try the thing myself. And if my dick gets harder from it, then I know that it's probably working. And <laughs> so he makes dietary decisions based solely about how his dick responds to it. Amazing. Uh, amazing prescription, doctor. Man, what a revolutionary in, in medical science. And so four eggs every single day for the rest of my life. That's easy. That is an easy fix. The final thing is a very interesting exercise that you can do to increase your erectile strength. And this is something that all men and even women, in a weird way, women should be doing as well. It's, it, for us, it's our erection strength. For women, it's like their, their um, how do I say this in a nice way? Their, their genital muscle tightness get strengthened and they're able to have more pleasure and also give the man more pleasure during sex. It's, we'll explain that in a different way, but for me and you, for guys... The Kegel? Is... Man Kegels? This isn't the first time I feel like I've said the term man Kegels. And I can't, I can't remember the last... I can't remember... I can't remember why. It's a muscle that you can train, and this will really help you with your pee-pee like, erection pee -pee. strength. Imagine you're going to the toilet, uh -huh. and you're going to have a piss. Uh -huh. So there's there's urine coming out right right now. Urine. Do what right as you watch this video. Do what you would do in your body if you wanted to stop that. My piss. dick is actually so like, do, moist. Use that stripping. muscle right now. Imagine you're pissing and just stop the piss. Use that muscle right now. Hmm. He's feeling a bit kind tingly of like today. Needs some more jerky. That part of your genitals. Your piss. That's right, chat. That is called a kegel. That's a kegel. Kegels are this kind of like this sexual exercise that are actually very healthy for you. And if you can strengthen this muscle you will actually see terrific progress. You will genuinely see what? that your PP will get harder. Now, here's another practice. What? Why? Why? It's enjoyable to stop peeing midstream good shit? Disagree. Stick your thumb in your mouth, plug it up. Now blow really hard, big pee, pee Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, man kegels, it'll make your dick bigger. It's not in your dick, but it will make your dick bigger because... Think about it. He's going to say, like, blood flow, probably, right? You're bringing blood to the area, he may say. Right? Imagine you've got an erection, so you're hard right now. Imagine you know I have an erection? Buddy. <laughs> Ima I, uh, better, better chance imagining I'm soft. Let's be real. This is just my truth, okay? You can, like, flex... It up and down, you, you can like move your PP, like you know, you can easy boop it upwards, right? Girls love it when you do this, right? But usually, you can do it for like boop it. 
like a second and it kind of goes down, right? If you just practice this as if it's a rep, I mean, like, it you know, goes like in the down. gym we do reps and we do gains and we do sets of 10 or something, right? Do you you... Have a I think he just has erectile dysfunction from the eggs. He's eaten a million eggs and it's shut his dick off. Practice this. It will, and you keep doing it, right? So you, today you're going to do it like for a few minutes. You're just going to like hold it up there. Boom. If you have the erection for it, or you can even kind of do it even without the erection, just like with the same mental strength. It sounds like his dick might already be non-functional, Dr. Gamble. And you can do the other one, which is the opposite way He's around. He's eating which is, so like, many I'm eggs. I'm stopping pissing. That's more of a pull. And the this erection one is more of like a push, right? It's. I hope I've explained that right. But either way, let me. I'll explain it more in a second. But either way, what this does... It will actually help. Does he think his body is pulling the piss out of him when he when he pisses? Does he think it's being pulled out of him? <laughs> this little fucking guy, man. He's got no fucking brain in there. It's just gone. It's just not really existent, is it? Help you manually send more blood into your PB, which is absolutely fantastic when you think about it. It's fantastic. When you think about sending more blood into your pee pee, he's eating so many eggs. He might, which is how you say it. He he might develop ovaries to Go. store them all because that's how that works. Right? That's true. Uh, more effective than grapefruit eggs. Because what is an erection? Just more blood flow. And yeah. so, if what you... is an erection? Ask Matt Walsh. Matt Walsh, what is an erection? You can send more blood there through a human male penis. Through your manual like contractions, it would probably be thicker, harder, and longer. <laughs> Brother, can we can we stop? Can we? I've never had another guy concerned about my dick this much ever. This is this is too much. It is too much that he has spent 20 uncut minutes, <laughs> dick joke, uncut minutes talking about pee-pee stuff like this with total earnestness. Just, just think about it, boys. Because if you imagine when you've got an erection and you can do that, you know, that, like that boopy thing, right? When you do that, what's happening? So here it is with an erection normal. And then when you like kind of flex it up, it can stay there for a few seconds. How does it get up there? Well, it's got more blood flow and so it's longer harder even more erect <laughs> and so imagine that the, the golden point of man i straight up why is he doing this is relative to is he standing up is he st of all this is that eventually you can literally hold it there for as long as you want. So it's almost like this kind of manual permanent increase to the erection, to the strength, to the hardness, to the like the width, like the, the thickness, and also to the... <laughs> man. This man's selling fucking cock oil, not snake oil. <laughs> length, and especially to the thickness of the tip as well, which is just, this is all like fantastic. Like, I'm a big fan. <coughs> He's a big fan of thick cock tip. Fine, right? <laughs> so the way exactly to do this, there's a Kegel and then there's a reverse Kegel. I don't overthink this. All I do is just every time I remember, Go. I just kind of flex. Every time I remember to, I'm working my cock all day, every day. Okay? I'm working my cock from sun up till sundown. This guy has a golden play button. Yeah, he does. He has 2 million subscribers, dude that area just when i'm thinking about it so one like there's two things right one is kind of like the muscle that's required to stop this thing so the next time you go for a piss and you're already like seconds into it stop it and that's kind of like one of the, the like the same mental muscle that you can use throughout your day and that's called more of the reverse giggle but then the other one you can also like experiment with imagine you're pissing you can do something to, to force more out right that's kind of like the normal <laughs> kegel. And another way to describe this is when you've got an erection like that, that boop. so piss all your piss boys pretend to piss your pants when you're just sitting around, it'll make your dick bigger. Does anyone say, bro, I keep pissing my pants? Bro, I keep pissing my pants. Go. Truly intellectual thinking by Hamza, as always. <laughs> I 
Hey, Hamza, I recently... It seems like a lot of people are clowning on him in the comments. Hamza is always coming in clutch. <laughs> I'm grateful for this video, bro. I went from being crippled by death grip and porn to actually getting into meaningful relationships and actually being able to use my full genetic power, so to speak. Numbers are irrelevant. My schlong is well-sized, and I don't want any insecure kids to be weirdly offended and shameful in reading. Length has increased by 25%. This is after around one month of no porn or death gripping or being a Jeffrey under the covers. This shit works, boys. Stick in it for the long haul if death grip has castrated you. <laughs> Guys, guys, what, why are the boys like this? Get some pull-ups and just piss. You're a big kid now, that's right. Just piss in them, piss in your drawers. P thing, like, you know, you can like flex it upwards. and, and draws. It So you need to find out which way you want to do it. But in general, the easy way to explain this without needing to overthink it, because there's so many videos to try and explain this. And I just got overwhelmed when I first was looking at this years ago. But Years ago when I was studying the dick, but now I am the master of my dick dojo. My dick mojo dojo casa house. And I am going to strengthen you with man kegels, my boys. All you have to do is pay me to join the Adonis school for... Transform into a modern day Adonis and build a $3,000 a month business in six months or less, guaranteed. Uh oh, that actually might be something you could sue him for. <laughs> it's time to leave all the Jeffries behind. Pornhub, current balance zero. But now you, you could live in Dubai. Join the Adonis school. For three days? What? What's the countdown I for? Have a Are we building in FOMO? For what? For a deal that you're not advertising on here? That's interesting. Your life is a modern day Adonis. Wow. Net revenue. Top 1% finances. Top 1% physique. Top 1% mindset. Phase one, game plan call, laying the foundations. Every single one of these guys has one of these these websites, man. Uh, support. We will show you how to ask for support from strong, successful men in order to get the most out of our program. Curriculum overview. Common pitfalls. The 80-20 rule. We will help you identify the 20% of bad stuff that is currently taking up 80% of your brain points. <laughs> your brain points? <laughs> Let's fucking go, dude. This man's using terms like brain points and selling that shit to the men to save them from their tiny cocks. Okay, look. <clears throat> if you're ever insecure about yourself, just watch one of these fucking videos, bro. But the way I literally just think about it now, just flex that dude, part of your of, of He thinks about it. PPP. Maybe the Go. best way to do it is just get an erection. Flex like, your you pee pee. You don't watch porn or waste time doing this. But if you just kind of like flex that part so that it gets harder and you can kind of like do the little, <laughs> like the bop of your. This is weird, bro. This is so weird. Should I even release this video, man? <laughs> what the fuck is his. He is. He is lost in his own fucking sauce on this one. So dumb. Should I release this video? Is it purposeful? I know this sounds very like silly and I'm tempted not to release this video. But the truth is like, it really did help me. It really did. Cause this is like one of the things that we as young men, we are quite sensitive about. And if I didn't see this kind of advice online, I think I would have stayed quite sensitive and insecure for a lot longer. Mm -hmm. But the moment I discovered that there were some practical things that I could do to increase my PP like erection size, I started to feel a lot more positive. And so This is, the positivity here is like, 
well, yeah, you do have to have a big pee-pee to be a man. And if you don't, you should feel insecure. But if you sleep a little bit and you stop wanking or whatever and whatever the fuck else he said, you'll get a big pee-pee. You'll eat some eggs. Get a pee-pee, you know? <laughs> this is, how's this helping? Bro, I've been eating nothing but eggs for two years. I can't feel my feet. And my dick stopped working, man. Oh, he's out of breath. Suddenly it became more of like another self-improvement habit that I was adding in, which genuinely, which is what I did, by the way. I had Kegels as part of my habit tracker, and I just spent like five, ten minutes where I'd do like 50 reps per day. Oh my God. And it made me feel positive. And so I know that this is a weird video, and I apologize. It's like vulgar in some areas, and I know that like some young guys watch me. But... I needed to actually hear a video like this from a guy that I liked when I was <clears throat> 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Like, I, I needed to hear it, honestly. So I apologize if this video has offended anyone. I hope that you haven't watched it out loud on your speakers with your parents next year. That might be awkward. <laughs> and I mentioned that yeah, have like a PB. How to increase your dick size full guide. Hey, mom, I'm going to watch a YouTube video. Man said he fake pisses his pants 50 times a day. That's right. Testosterone boosting supplements or any, anything like that that I'm trying to sell you in this video. But if you are really dedicated on your self-improvement journey and you want to join a community of other guys just like yourself around the world and also get like... No, I'm good. All right, so... Uh, oh, oh. We, we piss in our pants today, make our peepees bigger. We piss in our pants and make our peepees bigger today, guys. Huh? You guys got tiny peepees? The only way to get a bigger pee-pee is eat some eggs. <laughs> Piss your pants. <laughs> you, got, you got a little tiny pee-pee? Gotta eat some eggs while you're pissing your pants. If you can eat your eggs while you're pissing and stop pissing. So start pissing. Eat an egg. Once you take a bite of the egg, cut that baby off. Stop pissing immediately. No matter what it feels like, you cut it off. The faster you cut it off, the bigger your dick's going to be. On account of the piss, the piss will uh, fill the dick. Hmm? Piss dick? Now you got a big old fatty walking around like a fucking water noodle. Ladies love water noodle dick. That'll be $3,000 a month. Please uh, subscribe immediately to my Big Dick Club. I don't know why I'm doing... Why is Chris Reagan here? Eh. <laughs> I'm problematic.